You've probably heard of the Communist Party of China a lot in the media these days. But what is this organization? How does it operate? Well, visually, it kind of looks like this. At the grassroots level, there are more than 90 million party members who make up the CPC party committees across China's urban communities, villages, social institutions, state-owned firms, as well as many private companies and even foreign ones operating on Chinese soil. Across cities, provinces, and autonomous regions, there are CPC party congresses as well that discuss local matters. Now let's move higher up. Over 2,000 representatives make it into the CPC's National Congress, which is held every five years. And it hasn't always looked like this. The first Congress was held 100 years ago in this building, located in Shanghai's former French concession area. That was until members were harassed and pressured into moving to a rented tourist boat. In 1928, the Sixth Congress was held in Moscow, as the fledgling party could hardly find a safe place to congregate within China. Today, the Congress is regularly held at the Great Hall of the People, Beijing, with the next one slated for 2022. But if National Congress is only held every half decade, then who makes decisions when it's not in session? Enter the CPC Central Committee. It has more than 200 members, which get reshuffled every five years during the National Congress. Each edition of this committee holds meetings at least once a year with different themes called plenums. For example, the fifth plenum is usually about passing the important five-year plan that guides China's economic development. These plenums shape the country's course in very meaningful ways. In December 1978, the third plenary session of the then 11th CPC Central Committee marked the start of China's reform and opening up, and set the country on course for rapid economic growth for decades to come. Let's continue, we have not reached the top yet. Among the members of the CPC Central Committee, 25 of them will form the Politburo, which gathers regularly to vote on important matters. By design, they make decisions based on one person, one vote. Once a majority is reached, they speak with one unified voice. Several politicians in the Politburo form the Politburo Standing Committee. Throughout the CPC's history, the number of members in this top group, which reports to the Politburo, has varied from about 5 to 11 people. Currently, there are 7 members. And who convenes meetings at the Politburo and the Politburo Standing Committee? The General Secretary. Xi Jinping currently serves in this position. He is also the President of China, having been voted in by the National People's Congress. Several other top CPC leaders hold important state positions as well. 